You can customize each listing individually within the showing desk. To do that, go to My Listings, My Listings. Choose the listing that you want to customize. Allow showing agents to request appointments online. Yes means agents can use showing time to request appointments for showings. If you select No for this specific listing, they won't have that option for showing time as it removes the showing time action button from the listings. The appointment types are pretty self-explanatory as they have all descriptions under the title. Appointment required would normally mean the house is still being lived in and the sellers want time to clean up and get ready for showing. Uh, the courtesy call is more of a heads up to the designated listing contacts, which is more for the flexible occupants. The go and show is more for the vacant homes on a lockbox and a heads up isn't needed, you just go and show it, etc. You can add contacts here. If you want to add the person currently living in the house, then it will notify them as well. So whoever you add under these contacts, it will notify them. Um, you can customize each individual person that you add. If you want to notify them through text message, you'll just click it. Um, email or phone, if they can't stand the phone message, as they can't understand the automated voice anyway, then you can unclick that. Appointment restrictions. Allow inspections, yes or no. Allow appraisals, yes or no. The required lead time, if you want at least an hour heads up before the showing, or two hours, or if you don't require any lead time, but you can choose here. The maximum appointment length, you can choose right here. So um, for example, if the most you want your showing time to be an hour, then you would put an hour. Suggested lead time would go here, same thing. Um, allow overlapping appointments, yes, and no need to inform the showing agents. Yes, please tell the showing agent ahead of time, or no, exclusive showing only. Add new showing restrictions, you can do that here, or you can do that here, showing restrictions. Add new showing restriction. The current owner, Ollie the Otter, still has pool parties every Friday and Saturday with his other Otter buddies. So you can put the restriction reason here, uh, gotta get her party on. The time restricted could be, let's just say, 3.45 in the afternoon all the way until 9 o'clock at night. Or you can choose all day restriction and it will black out the whole entire day. If it's a one-time restriction, so if Ollie Otter only wants a pool party on Saturday, then it's going to block out all day on Saturday. If it's a repeating restriction, because Ollie the Otter is a party animal, and he does his pool parties and doesn't want to be disturbed, you can do, it occurs every Friday and Saturday for all day, or every Saturday and Sunday between 3.45 p.m. and 9 o'clock. And then once you have the restriction dates set up, other agents will see the unavailable dates are blacked out when trying to set up a showing for 2030 Otter Pond. It's not going to change your other listings. It's only going to change this specific listing. The access information, uh, you have the lockbox and access details. How can the agent access the home, um, the combination, manage key sets, alarm details, additional instructions, notes for appointment staff. Uh, you can add from your predefined notes here, create temporary notes, notes for showing agent. Um, you have the same options um, or you can just type it in here. There's a dog in the backyard, be sure not to let him in the house, etc. Driving directions, you just put the directions in here. When you're finished, make sure that you hit save because whenever you make any changes, it's going to come up with the option up top, save changes or undo changes. I hope this helps.